All right. Hey, Pastor Neil, we begin a brand new series uh, coming up called The Force. The Force. The Force. It sounds yeah. good, doesn't it? Force. Uh, and uh, obviously, it's a little reference to... I, I was eight. I was eight years old, and my dad took me to see Star Wars, the very first one. And I remember it was Obi-Wan Kenobi. When he comes with the Force, man, I thought, this is too cool. Yeah. Too cool. And uh, how about you? Do you have any history, background with Star Wars at all? Um, you know, I'm a big Star Wars fan. I watch them all. Uh, I don't remember when I went to the theater and saw it. I don't remember that experience at all. But uh, I've, I've watched watched every single one of them. All the new ones that are coming out are great, which you say you haven't, I have, not, not, I have not seen. I need to catch up, I guess. See, um, what you need to do is, is if, if you go back and, and watch them in order from the prequel to now, you know, you go to the prequels and it's high tech. And then you get to what was recorded in 70, and it looks like that just the empire just fell apart. <laughs> and then you get back to now, and it's high tech again. <laughs> but see, that's part of the problem, is I have no idea what comes next. Yeah. And the, then they throw in a Mandalorian or oh, something. Oh, man, the Mandalorian is the star of the Star Wars universe see, right now. They're telling it's me great. I got I to see the Mandalorian. But, hey, this is kind of cool, because I think the Mandalorian actually might show up for our children's ministry. What? throughout this I'm not series. going to service that day. I'm You'll just hanging be... out with the Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> Along with other other yeah. cast uh, of the Star Wars saga. But uh, the whole series, when we say the Force, is uh, uh, it's kind of around the idea that we are living in a pretty dark world. Yeah. Uh, we've been, especially over the past couple of years, exposed to so much more uh, than uh, probably we ever would have ever dreamed of yeah. having. But... Uh, I think uh, in a lot of ways that causes so many of us to say, let's just run and hide. And there's no hope, but that's not what scripture says that we as followers of Jesus are to do. In fact, we're given the Holy Spirit, who is the ultimate force living in and through us. And uh, so a whole spiritual battle thing, I think, is what we're looking at here and, and talking about that. Yeah, it's interesting. In one of those Bible studies you had us read a, a couple of weeks ago, it talked about the fact that um, they say the majority of people don't even believe that we have a real enemy that's actually, wow. you know, working in, against us in our lives. And, uh, and that, that we often have a tendency to sit on the sidelines instead of, uh, you know, getting in that battle and um, mm. fighting it with the Holy Spirit like we should. And, uh, I mean, if we don't think we have an enemy, if we're oblivious to that, then we're really sitting ducks. Then. Yeah. You know, rather than what Scripture says to realize that what, what it, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, the right. forces in the evil realms and or in the heavenly realms. And, uh, and so for us, we've got to take up that armor Right. And we've got to, it's, it's the idea of, hey, there are rebel forces yeah. that are rising up and God's going to use us in a remarkable way if we let him. Right. Uh, so pretty exciting stuff, I think. It's going to be good. I'm good, looking good. forward I to hope, it. I hope you definitely come and join us for The Force. We begin the week after Easter and we go all the way through the month of May. So yep. going to be, be awesome. exciting. Be right. there. All right.